Good morning, guys. How are we? I was going to say good morning, Vietnam. But I didn't. But I did. Anyway, yeah. So we're going to watch Walking Dead. The finale of the mid-season, I believe. A few times I did mention it as being the fin finale. But it's not, is it? Really? It's not. So, yeah. Without further ado, Walking Dead. It's episode 8. Of season eight. Yeah. See you after this short interval. Bye. And we're back in the room. Hello, guys. That was a short moment for you guys, but I've just been watching the mid-season finale of Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 8. Like, I don't know, this season is crazy. It's up and down and up and down. So basically, uh, Daryl crashes... But is, I'm talking about the end of the previous episode. Daryl crashes a truck into the sanctuary, making a hole in it. All the zombies got in. Negan and his lieutenants got out. And from there, basically, is where we are at the beginning of Episode 8. And basically, I can't remember that geezer, what his name, but one of the lieutenants has gone to the hilltop, no, has gone to the, the kingdom to find Ezekiel, or he's going to start killing people. Simon has stopped Maggie and her crew on the, on the way back to the hilltop and, like, threatened them. Like, he's going to kill everyone, make them slaves, basically. But yeah, Negan's lieutenants are all trying to get everyone, like, enslave everyone, basically. And they want everything, not half anymore. And Negan has turned up at Alexandria, where there's... A f well, Rick's not there, but Kyle is. And Kyle's got a plan. He's a man with a plan. So, yeah, there's, like, a lot going on all at once. So Simon's, like, threatening Maggie and all that. And they've got a coffin, and he's got Jerry hostage. But he's already killed one of their men. So it's like, what is going on? You know what I mean? I love Simon, though. He's such a... Such a scary, villainous guy, but it's funny at the same time. You know what I mean? And then the other guy that's looking for Ezekiel was just a coward, and they even rate him. And then, so yeah, we've got a lot going on. If I haven't said that for the eighth time, but yeah. So this episode is like really like confusing. Because there's a lot going on, and, and flashbacks and flash forwards. But the episode starts with uh, Rick and Kyle talking about like the hope, that bit about hope that we're talking about. And obviously Carl's letting that that kid, I forget his name, but he helped him out. And yeah, so Eugene is having a like a realisation of what a traitor he is. And he wants to save the doctor and uh Gabriel. But at the same time he's the re he's part of the reason he helped Negan's lot get out. He's the reason they got out. Apart from the truck, he was there with that little aeroplane thing with a speaker on it playing music to lure the zombies away. So we've got a predicament, basically. And Dwight is on the road with some other saviours. Um, I'll get back to that in a minute. But yeah, so Kyle is trying to talk Negan down, basically. Like He's like, kill me, let everyone go. If anyone wants to die, let me die, blah, blah, blah. And he's saying like he's going to die eventually anyway, so he doesn't care. So he's sacrificing himself, very noble thing. But like, no, Kyle, what, what are you doing? Dad's not going to be happy with you. But the way Negan just says it, he's like, oh, you're a big boy answering the door when Daddy's not home. You know what, you know what I mean? But Negan's just so funny. So yeah, they're throwing, like, grenades, they're launching grenades into Alexandria. Everything's on fire. I think some zombies got in. But meanwhile, that's happening. Daryl, Michelle... Uh, Rosita, I think, escaped through the back entrance, and Dwight is chasing them with his lot. Uh, get back to that again in a minute, like I said. But yeah, so Kyle does all that. He's got smoke grenades, and then he hides in the sewer at some point, and then he comes back after. But then I'm getting distracted. A few moments later. So it carries on, and then so that. Dwight is with the, his crew chasing down all of them. Then they shoot them all up 
and Dwight starts shooting his, the, the other saviors and then one of them realizes that he's a traitor and she shoots him in the arm but but Dwight is okay uh, but we still don't trust him do we or Eugene and then I forgot to mention but Aaron and Edith are at Oceanside they just killed one of the the grandma of one of the women there that's another thing I don't know what's going on there but we've got a lot of cliffhangers going on don't you think and in this episode you're realising that everything's gone wrong from how, from how positive it was at the beginning you know so yeah on the Ezekiel front they're trying to hunt him down he's kind of saved all his crew they've kind of seen him burst in with a truck or a school bus and try and save the day and he kind of has but he still got taken by what one, the saviors basically so we don't know what's going to happen there Maggie's gone back to the hilltop shot one of the prisoners uh, to make it even really well, not that it's even and she's put the guy in a coffin and written we've got hostages we've got 38 more uh, surrender or some, something like that stand down so she's written that on the coffin to send the saviors a message um, and then Rick's turned up at Alexandria and he's fighting Negan we were waiting for this for ages the, Lucille is in the mix as usual but we've been waiting for this fight for a long time and it ends a bit abruptly and nothing actually happens in the end Rick's thrown out a window and he runs away and Negan's like a bit confused but then everyone's hiding in the sewer and Kyle's saved everyone somehow but we find out he's been bitten and we don't know when because it's like he removes a bandage and he's been bitten underneath but we, we don't know like always in Walking Dead we don't know and Morgan's back Carol's somewhere I don't know I can't remember where exactly but she's some like she was saying to Ezekiel you can't do this or blah 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 you can't sacrifice yourself or turn yourself in or whatever so everyone's in different situations difficult very difficult in Carl's case um, but yeah looking forward to the rest of the season whenever it comes back real as always you are the 21 fam I'm your host John Luca Luizzi another Walking Dead reaction analysis whatever you want to call it oh, happy weekend whenever you're watching it right it's Friday for me but whatever day is enjoy whatever you're doing and I'll see you when the season resumes peace <laughs>